Rita, I, I want to ask, we heard some amazing artistic and poetic um, earlier when the, when the young people were up here. You're an artist, and I wanted to ask you what you thought was an artist's role in making things better for people. Okay, well, I, any artist in the house, duh. Come on, Come on any artist in the house. Oh. Okay, this is the first artist role. You stand up. Okay. So, first thing I'm going to tell, I must be telling the artists out here, I prepared this because that's what I did. As an artist, you have a duty to be an individual, to pursue your world. That means that you will be an outlier sometimes. The people you're with, you're going to agree with them sometimes. Sometimes it's going to be crack shit, and you're going to go off and do your own thing. You've got a responsibility to that. If marriage ain't your thing today, go write a poem about something else. You owe that to the world. As individual artists, you owe the world your individuality. Second thing, speak for others. You've got this incredible gift, y'all. You can like write poems, you can do paintings, you can do things for people, and other people cannot do this. So when you express your humanity, other people see it and express and, and feel a little bit of what it means to create and see that creation in their own lives. So you should always remember that when you're speaking for people, you know, you, you are speaking for people. Yeah. Next thing. Dude, I'm trans, I'm a person of color, I'm queer, and I can still suck as a poet if I don't work fucking hard at what I do. Yeah. As an artist, you have the spotlight on you. Be fucking excellent. Yeah. You stand as an example to everybody else who, in the community where it's like, is identity enough? You know what? Identity makes you family. Your badassness makes you immortal. <laughs> Next thing. I want you all to understand. You know, look, I show up on time, I clean up well, great. But you know what? It takes a lot more than a fucking poet to make this community work. Part of you being in the spotlight means you give it to others. You have people recognize the teachers in your lives, the doctors, the good parents, everybody else. So you have a duty as an artist to always reflect outward, to share part of the spotlight at others. That's what being family is all about. Yeah. yeah. And then finally, you guys have to understand too, art's a really special thing in one sense. It directly, it directly expresses humanity. At the end, you are a queer artist, you are a female artist, you're a person of color, but in the end with the artist, you're a human artist. So never be afraid to collaborate with other people who may not share your own identities or whatever. In the end, we're all humanity, we're all humans, we're all people, we all got the same spirit. Now you know that as better than anybody else because you know when you write that poem, that has nothing to do with the color of your skin, that has to do with the light in your heart, right? Yeah. Have a great conference. Fucking vote because if Proposition 30 don't pass, I might not have a job. Thank God bless. Okay. All right. Robin, so you've been doing this for more than 20 years. So I want you to talk a little bit about how you've seen it get better for LGBTQ youth and how you think it can still get better. Well, I actually got to challenge the idea that it's better because it's just different. You know, that I think that in some ways it's better and for some people it's better and for lots of people it's not better. And so I think that the number one thing that... that